Hey everyone, this is Rajendran from Algo Mojo and in this video tutorial, I'm going to explain how to use all-in-one alerts for Ami Broker. So first of all, if you're an Algo Mojo user, log into your Algo Mojo account and after logging into that, go to the strategy section, go to the free strategy section and go and download the all-in-one alerts. So once you download the alerts, the now the first thing that you have to do here is copy the main module all-in-one alerts. There are two modules over here. One is an uh, a header file so copy this header file and then move the header file into the ami broker include folder so go to ami broker go to the formulas folder go to the include folder uh, right click and paste the file over here now the another module is an example module but i'll show you uh, right from the scratch how to create such kind of modules so go to your uh, ami broker so let me pull up my ami broker over here so here is my ami broker I'm going to file new and I'm going to create a new formula. So from here, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a sample formula over here. So let's say my trading system with alerts, with alerts and followed by that, I'm also going to include the module. I'm going to say like hash include, I'm going to include the alerts using the code all in one alerts dot AFL, right? So once you are, uh, uh, once you included the module over here, the next one is to go and create a simple trading strategy. So I'm having a sample trading system over here. I'll go and include the trading system with buy and sell. So obviously I created a trading system. I'm just plotting the EMA. I'm just looking for the trading rules. I'm looking for a crossover of the trading rules. And in fact, I'm also defining the stop and reverse. Now, once I done with this, I'm going to include only one simple code over here. So I'm going to include a function name called all in one alerts and inside this I'm going to send a couple of variables over here. I'm going to send a buy, I'm going to send sell, I'm going to send a short, I'm going to send a cover. All these four parameters I'm going to send and that's it. I'll save the code. First of all, I'll save this under probably I'll go and put this inside the algo alerts. So algo alerts, I'll say like uh, algo alerts my trading system so you save it anywhere inside your folder and then check for the errors of course no errors over here and then apply the code now once i applied the code you can see that the trading system is able to plot your strategy and now uh, if you right click and go to the parameters you will be able to see a couple of controls over here you can enter the arrow control so that the arrows will be plotted automatically all the buy sell alerts uh, buy and sell buy short cover alerts all those alerts will be plotted automatically and followed by that you can also enable a sound alert you can enable a mail alerts and you can also enable a voice alerts as well and pop-up alerts as well so this is uh, you can you can you can enable any kind of alerts over here if in case if you are having any telegram channel obviously you have to create a bot and uh, here is the bot key you have to place the bot key over here and you can enable telegram alerts also so followed by that you also enter the uh, telegram channel id you add the bot to that particular telegram channel id so that uh, uh, whenever buy and sell signals are coming over here it will be automatically sending the alerts to the uh, your uh, trading account so I'll, I'll show you a simple demonstration over here i'll go to the one minute time frame charts and i'll go and randomly run today's activity uh, in the bar replay mode so i'll go to april 6th all right i'll go to april 6th and then what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna replay today's market activity all the alerts has been enabled so you can see that uh, you can Short immediately SL able to see that uh, pop-up alert, voice alert, and automatically you can able to see uh, you, you can able to get a mail alerts also. So let me go on to the mail. Let me go and check out the mail over here. I'll go and type gmail.com. So in the gmail.com, uh, you can able to see that uh, I'm able to receive the alerts in my mail ID as well. So in if at all, uh, if you want to know the uh, email settings let me show you the email settings over here go to tools go to preferences i'll go to uh, alerts so this is a gmail alert obviously you need to have a gmail account and here is the port details you have to fill in and uh, you have to enable the ssl connection and uh, you have to key in your authentication method so which, which mail id you want to send the id the mail id password and obviously the sender email id and the recipient's email id also you have to do that you can use a test function so that ami broker should be able to send the test 
So if at all, if you are configuring for Gmail, there is one more important alert that you need to configure, uh, one more settings in Gmail. So obviously you have to go for uh, uh, Gmail less secured apps. So ensure that you're logging into that particular account and you're enabling that less secured apps account. In my case, I'll log in and then I'll be enabling the less secured account feature. So ensure that this is on so that ME broker will be able to send alerts automatically. Now the second thing that you need to know over here is uh, once the alert is uh, done, if you are installing for the first time, you also have to go to ME broker dot com you go to the download section and there is a small module called SSL add-on tool is there you have to install it anyways it is free only install the download and install the module in my case I already installed it so once these two things are done once the less secured apps and then uh, the SSL add-on settings are done uh, I mean SSL add-on installation is done you will be able to send an alert to any trading system by using only two codes in your account. So you, all you have to do is you have to include all-in-one alerts.afl and also you have to call once uh, your buy sell short cover values are defined, once your trading rules are defined, all you have to do is you have to call the function, a custom function called all-in-one alerts and you have to send the buy sell short and cover parameter which will help you to send all kind of alerts and whenever you don't want any alerts you can disable it all right so how i can get the code obviously you need to have a trading account with algo mojo so anybody can uh, log into the algo mojo and they can access the codes and uh, hope more and more interesting libraries will be launched in the future stay tuned stay tuned with algo mojo thank you